So today we'll continue our series in the Psalms, and uh, uh, this will be our fifth message in the series in the Psalms. We'll be in the Messianic Psalms again today for the third time. Kiowa Messianic, Shihen no Dai Santanate, Shihen Shiris no Dai Goban no Onashito Nate Imas. So Koko Kare Suzuki Mas. Kiowa Shihen Niju Nihen. And we're going to look at Psalm 22, but we're going to divide it into two parts. And we'll look at the first part today and the second part next week because it's a little long. So what is Psalm 22 about? Well, King David probably wrote Psalm 22 during one of the darkest hours of his life. But the psalm goes far beyond David's time to prophetically describe Jesus' crucifixion. I think it's also used in temple worship and could probably have something in there to relate to us for the difficult times in our life when the Lord has come and helped us. あ、その昔の時代、今日の新年で、で、はい、so I think we can all read this and find something profitable that relates to our own lives in it. But today what we're really going to focus on is the prophetic uh, view of the psalm and the way that we can interpret it as a prophecy of the cross of Christ. まず、ゲセメネのその go back to the garden of the Gethsemane and think of the events there first of all just to give us some context for what we're going to see in Psalm 22. And we can remember how in the Garden of Gethsemane, how they came at night and they, they grabbed Jesus, the soldiers and things. And that's what this uh, particular painting shows. It shows the capture of Christ, uh, as it's called. So let's think about that. Jesus taken at Gethsemane, but Jesus said something very important at that time. It's when Peter is going to fight the soldiers to rescue Jesus, right? But what did Jesus say? Jesus said, Do you think I cannot call on my Father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way? So Jesus is saying, you know, I can get all the help I need, but I need to fulfill the scriptures. So even though Jesus is arrested and he's put on the cross and he's killed, Jesus is not in a weak position. He's not weak. He has power, but he chooses not to use it so he can fulfill the prophecies and provide for our salvation. しかし、それでは必ずこうなるとかかっている聖書の言葉が
あされました。これはとても大事な点ですね。シエスはもう無力になったことは絶対ありませんですね。Jesus definitely did not become powerless. We need to remember that. Because then we see on the cross how he's suffering and things, and you think, well, why doesn't he save himself? Well, he could, but then the scriptures won't be fulfilled. And what's the purpose? The purpose is because of his love for each and every one of us, he wants to provide salvation for us, forgiveness of sins, and eternal life. So, the Jesus is a Jewish God, and he is a good God. 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 力があったんですでもそれを使わないで、辛い道を歩んでくるさと私たちの救いのために、私たちの罪の許しを得るために、また、私たちのためにも復活を得るためでした。そこれは、また27章45節のところですね。さて、昼の12時に全地を、全地は暗くなり、それが3時まで続いたとありますね。So in Matthew 27 45, it says here, from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over the land, right? So Jesus is on the cross and he's suffering and it becomes dark and it continues for like three hours. Sanji kan hodo kurai tokuri natte imashita. And this is recorded also in some of the histories of the time that completely unexplainable. Three hours of darkness came over the land. So, this is what we have to do. We have to do this. 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 We have to do これは我が神、我が神、なぜ私をお見捨てになったのですかという意味である。And Jesus, これは詩編22からの、22編からの引用の言葉ですね。イエスは引用しています。It says in Matthew 27, 46, And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama, sabakatani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Okay. Uh, those of you who read English and Japanese both, I know probably notice the English says the ninth hour and the Japanese says the third hour. Well, the ninth hour is the、uh, Roman time measurement. That's actually a direct translation. The third hour in some translations, including this Japanese, is、uh, trying to change it into time we would understand at 3 p.m. そこでは日本語も英語も分かる方いらっしゃると思います。それはどうして英語の方は ninth hour で、その日本語は3時ごろとあるんですか。それはもうその言語から、グリッシュの言語から直訳すれば、それは9時ごろということになります。英語と同じです、このところ。しかし、この日本語を訳した聖書の学者たちは翻訳者、翻訳者たちは私たちが分かる時間に直してくれて午後3時としましたね。どっちも正しい役ですけれども、一つは直訳でローマ帝国の時間の数え方。他方では私たちが分かる午後3時頃になっています。大事なのはその時間のことじゃなくて、シエスはこのところで詩編22編を引用して十字架上で、それで詩編22編は、もうきっと予言的のメシアネクの予言であることあ明らかにされました。The important point is not what time is it so much as the Jesus crying out and he's quoting Psalm 22 and he's showing there by his own testimony that this is indeed a messianic prophecy. So today we'll look at the first part. Uh, verses 1 through 21, and we'll see Jesus suffering and a thing that goes back to his birth, even. And then next week, we'll look at the second part, which we'll interpret as reflecting the resurrection and the second coming. So, Kyo wa dai ichibu o mite, so de wa isets kare niju isets. Shi es no kutsu to, mo jika no sakin nobote, so no tanjo, kotan no kotomo, hana sarete imas. 
大使は復活と再現に解釈できる第2部22節から終わりまでですね。じゃあ、行きましょう。Let's go!Psalm 22、uh,。We have a title first or a little opening line, directions for the、uh, musician people. Yeah, directions for Rachel here, <laughs> our musician today.、Uh, oh, for the director, no, that's a zero. For the director of music to the tune of the Doe of the Morning, a Psalm of David. This Doe of the Morning is, is a tune that people knew. It's a melody that the musicians could play as the psalm was read or sung. So, 最初は指揮者によってとあります。これはもう賛美をリードする人への説明。もうこの暁の明治化に合わせて参加、ダビデの詩。それは参加の名前でしょうが、この詩編を理解するためのヒントでもあるかもしれません。どうしたらその参加が選ばれたかといって、これは詩編の意味、解釈のヒントとなるかもしれません。明治化は戦わない弱い動物です。シエスも戦わない。ご自分の弱いものとされました。その道を選択されました。So, the psalm name, of course, the Doe of the Morning is a known song that they could sing, but I think also in choosing that, maybe it was a little hint about how to think of the psalm of where the, the Doe, of course, is a,、uh, an animal that can't fight, it has no strength for fighting, and it's、uh, weak. Jesus chooses to be weak and doesn't fight and becomes like this doe in a sense,、uh, pursued by his destroyers. So, シエスも,も敵に追われて、この命じと同じようになりました。So, この詩篇を理解するためのもう一つのヒントは、どの焦点から、どの立場から解釈すべきかということですね。それを考えましょう。つまり、十字架上から見下ろしていると想像すれば、わかりやすくなるでしょう。ですね。そこれは、シエスは十字架上で、あお話になったような詩編と考えたら、十字架上から見下ろしていると解釈すれば、わかりやすいです。So, as we read this psalm, if you imagine yourself Uh, being up on that cross, that it's from Jesus' perspective or viewpoint that this psalm is given, it'll become a lot easier to understand the psalm. Otherwise, it's kind of confusing. But that, I think, will help you to understand it. So, this is the first time I've ever seen the Abraham. I've never 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 seen the Abraham. 最始長、その指導者たちも、立法学者もあいるし、そして、シエスのあご家族のマリアとかもいると思います。シエスはそこから見下ろしている。So we've looked at this painting before, but you know, on the bottom right there we have the soldiers who are gambling for Jesus' clothes, and we have not only the crowd, but we have the leaders of Israel, the, the chief priest and the scribes and people are there. Uh, and also, of course, Mary is there and other people、uh, that Jesus loves, some of the disciples. So Jesus begins with the quote that we saw in Matthew 27 46, and that's here in Psalm 22, the beginning of it. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? She is. お語りになったマタイ27章46節で先に見た言葉はその先出しですけれども書き出しですけれども私の神よ私の神よなぜ私を見捨てになるのかなぜ私を遠く離れ救おうとせずうめきも言葉も聞いてくださらないのかこれはイエスの感情ですね十字架上で神様に見捨てられた感情となっていることを語っていますね。どうしてでしょうか十字架上
で、シエスの肉体的の苦痛は極めてひどいことだった違いありませんけれども、最悪の苦痛は、イエスが世界の罪を負った時、ご自分が父なる神から離れてしまったと感じる苦痛だったと思います。So, Jesus crying out here, and he feels like he's separated from God and abandoned. And of course, we see this the physical pain, physical pain of the cross was, of course, terrible in and of itself. But the worst pain of all was when Jesus took the sins of the world, our sins upon himself, and felt separated from God because of the sin. So, Jesus feels alone for the first time ever in all of eternity. <laughs> Oh my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer by night and am not silent. So, Saki no Tema. It continues the theme from before. Saki no Tema ga tsuzuki masu ne. Watashi no kami o hiru wa yobi motomete mo kotaete kurusare nai. Yoru mo damaru koto o o yurushi ni naru nai. So, by then, Jesus has been on the cross for maybe six hours or more. And through the heat of the day, and now it's starting to get towards the evening, starting to be cooler, and still there's no answer to his cries of out. So, some of the time, was she is more doku jikan, uh, hodo, mo jujika jo de, kudushinde iru to, koto data de sho, so stay mo ichiban atsui, uh, hiru no toki kara, mo choto yugata ni narikake te iru tokuro made tsuzude imas. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One, you are the praise of Israel, and you, our fathers, put their trust. They trusted, and you delivered them. So even on the cross, Jesus is remembering how, you know, God is the glorious one, the praise, and he's delivered the ancestors of Israel. And of course, remember, David is writing this, so some of this may be a little bit more from David's viewpoint as well. だがあなたは聖女にいまし、イスラエルの賛美を受ける方、私たちの先祖はあなたにより頼み、より頼んで救われてきたとありますね。そこでは、もう十字架上でも、シエスは神様の栄光を賛美すべきのことを、父なる神様のことを覚えて、uh, いるいらっしゃるでしょう。しかし、これはダビデの焦点。立場から書かれているところもあると思います。イスラエルの歴史を思い出して。So, もちろん、これは予言的な意味があっても、もうダベレによって書かれた詩編です。They cried to you and were saved, and you they trusted and were not disappointed. 助けを求めて、あなたに叫び、あなたに叫び、救い出され、あなたに。より頼んで裏切られたことはないとあります。そこでは特に出エジプトのことを指していると考えられるでしょう。And here I think we can see probably especially remaining the exodus from Egypt, the time of that when they were saved. The next、uh, verse is particular in it. 次の聖句は特に、uh, 興味深いです。But I am a man and not a, I am a worm and not a man. Scorned by men and despised by the people, all who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. I am a worm and not a man. So, what's that about? Well, the original language, the Hebrew, actually reflects a particular type of worm, the one that they made red dye out of. So, it's the one that they would sometimes use for red dye to, to make red things, and it also was used as a symbol for sin. And this actually is what you'll find if you go and you look in Isaiah 1.18. The exact same Hebrew word in Isaiah 1.18 is translated in English as crimson、uh, because it's the worm representing that red, representing the stain of sin. Watashi wa mushikera totomo hito to wa ienai, ningen no kuzu, tami no haji, watashi o miru hito wa mina, watashi o azawarai. Jesus 
赤い線路がそれから作られていました。その赤い線路はもう服にとか衣に染むされたことは、それは罪を指していることもありました。罪の印として使われていました。それで、その言語のトラというヘブライ語の言葉は、イズヤ書一章十八節に見ると、それはもう、ベニと訳されていますね。悪のことで指しています。そのところはそれを罪を指しています。今話したように。So, he trusts in the Lord, let the Lord rescue him, let him deliver him, since he delights in him. 主に頼んで救ってもらうがよい。主が愛しておられるなら助けてくださるだろう。ここでは誰が話しているでしょうか ?So, who is speaking here?Well, it's actually the voices of the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders, if we look at the prophetic interpretation.Because in Matthew 27 43, they actually quote this part Speaking about Jesus on the cross. He died,、yeah, he trusts in God, let God rescue him. It's actually a quote from this very same psalm、uh, used by those chief priests and teachers of the law and elders. So, this is what I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. This is the first thing that I'm going to say. Uh, 27章40節にそういう人たちはこの詩幣を引用してこの言葉を使ってイエスをあぞらったとあります。Yet you brought me out of the womb, you made me trust in you even at my mother's breast. From birth I was cast upon you, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. 私を母の体から取り出し So, ね、so, in this case, so you brought me out of the womb, you made me trust in you, even at my mother's breast, from birth I was cast upon you from my mother's womb, but you've been my God. So, we see how the Life of faith, you know, beginning, you know, even maybe from the exact time of pregnancy by the power of the angel that Maria has,、uh, Jesus has always、uh, clung to his God, the Father,、uh, his Father. And that long life of faith, he's now remembering as he's up there on the cross and calling out to God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. Watashi wa toku hanada nai de kudasai. So, I want to explain something else before we go on to the next verse. And this actually comes from the writings of T. Ernest Wilson in his book. He explains it in more detail. But just very briefly, we're going to run into four kinds of dangerous animals here in the next section. So, Sugi no Tokoro de Watashi Tachi wa Yotsu no Shurui no Kiki no Dobutsu o Miru to Omoimas. And what do those represent? And according to Wilson's interpretation, They very specifically represent、uh, these figures. This Wilson Gaksha's interpretation is First, we'll see the first Ogyu, which is also called Mogyu. And those represent、uh, 
the first bulls that appear, the bulls of Bashan, uh, represent the Jewish leaders in his thought. Whereas the lion represents Satan and the demons, the lion or the lions. And the Gentiles are represented by the dogs, which was a common thing in Israel to call Gentiles dogs. Not a nice thing, but they did it. Uh, so that represents the Gentiles and especially the soldiers. And then the word bulls appears again, but it's actually a different kind of bull. And he says that could be seen as representing the crowds who were clamoring for Jesus' uh, crucifixion. So, kori wa mo yudai ji no shidoshi tachi wa mo shirushi toshite sodo sashite iru no wa sono saisho no ouishi no tokoro mogyu no tokoro. Tsugi wa shishi ga tojo shite sore wa saten to sono akurei tachi yo. So shite sono inu to yu tokoro wa i hojin toku ni sono heishi tachi. So shite mo hitotsu no shui no ogyu to nari maskeri de mo sore wa gunshu. イエスは十字架につけようと、もう叫んで群衆の人、また十字架の下にいる群衆、指していますね。これを考えながら次のところを見ましょう。so let's remember this as we look at the next section here. Many bulls surround me, strong bulls of Bashan encircle me, roaring lions tearing their prey open their mouths wide against me. So we see the enemies of Christ here. Ogyu ga muragatte watashi o kakomi, basha no mogyu ga watashi ni samaru. Ejiki o mai ni shita shishi no yo ni unari, kiba o muite watashi ni osoe kakaru mono ga iru. So, Kristo no teki ga tojo shimasu ne. So, no basha no yu tokoro wa ichiban oki, ichiban tsuyoi, gyu no ushi o uh, and Bashan, of course, is the area that was famous for having the, the strongest, the largest cattle, you know, as well. Then we come to uh, the next part where Jesus is starting to, to feel his life going away. He's starting to die, really. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax, it has melted away within me. Tashi wa mizu to natte susogi dasari, hone wa koto goto ku hazure, kokuro wa mune no nake de ro no yo ni tokeru to arimas. So, sono jujika jo no sugata o mite kangaita ra, so sugoku, sono. Hone wa mo out of joint to you no. Hone wa koto goto ku hazurete shimau desu ne. Mo te kara tarete imasu no de. So he's hanging from his hands largely. So of course his his bones are all stretched out. He's dying. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay in me. You lay me in the dust of death. Kuchi wa kawaite suyaki no kakere to nari, shita wa uwa ago ni haritsuku, anato wa watashi o chiri to shinonaki ni uchi sterariru. Tsugi no dobutsu ga deru tokuro desu ne. And then we see the other animals come out. Dogs have surrounded me, a band of evil men has encircled me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. So that would be the soldiers who actually nailed him to the cross. Inu domo ga watashi o tori kakomi, sai namu mono ga muragate watashi o kakomi, shishi no yo ni watashi no te ashi o kudaku to arimasu, kono nihongo de. Kogo yaku mitara te to ashi o sashi tsure nuita to arimasu. So, so we have this character's image to be the same as the character's image. In fact, the character's image is the same as the character's image. If the character's image is the same as the character's image, there are a lot of things that are coming out. But, this is the same as the character's image. もっともっと正しいと考えたら、それは十字架上でその手と足のこと、ローマ兵士は釘を打って、イエスを十字架につけられたことを指しています
if we go with the purest translation, there's various translations of this spot, uh, even in the English translations as well. It's a difficult to translate phrase, uh, poetic language and all that, but uh, you get the image of the soldiers actually nailing Jesus to the cross if you go with the idea of purist there. I can count all my bones. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. Honega kazoe rareru hodo ni natta watashi no karada o karada wa sarashi mono ni shite nagame. Watashi no kimono o wake koromo o toro to shite kuji o hiku. Of course, this is a, a quite a startling, amazing prophecy of how the soldiers divided Jesus' clothes uh, gambling. And uh, Matthew 27.35 is the verse that tells you about the soldiers. So, heishitachi no kono kodo wa matai niju nanisho sanju go setsu ni kiroku sarete imasu. That you, O Lord, be not far off, O my strength, come quickly to help me. Shishi no kuchi, ogyu no tsuno kara watashi o tsukui, watashi ni kotaete kudasai. Deliver my life from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of lions, save me from the horns of the wild oxen. This is a very powerful spot talking about this, this prayer here and for deliverance. But shikara ziyoi kotoba to natemasu. No koko de mo yakushi ni kui tokoro hitotsu arimasu ne. But here also there's something that's quite difficult to translate in the original. And you see here where in English it says, save me. Uh, a lot of English translations render this as past tense, in which case it becomes the turning point of the psalm, because this is where the, the suffering ends with this final prayer, and then we go into the rejoicing and praising God in the next section that we'll look at next week. So that's the turning point. And that would be reflected very strongly with the past tense. Uh, but some translations go with the present tense there. And it's still there, but it's a little less obvious if you use the present tense there. So, Kono Nihongo no Yaku mitada, Sukui to kudasai to, Sono kotoba wa mo oku no ego no honyaku de, Kako ke ni yaku sarete imasu ne. Kako ke ni shitara, sore wa. この詩編の天金されるところとなっています。それは苦痛の一部がここで終わって、次はその感謝と神様を褒めたたえることとなります。それは来週見ます。でもその解釈にすれば、これはその全てが変わる、つまり復活のこととなっています。死にかけているから。死んでしまったことそのものはもうこの死ぬは語っていないですでもそこから褒めたたえることになりますので予言的の解釈にすればもうそれは復活でしょう So the, you have the turning point here and it doesn't say anything about the actual death of Christ but we see he's getting very close to death in this prophetic interpretation and next we'll see that will represent the resurrection because there's the praise and the thanks so here's just a, a sneak preview of uh, one verse of next week's part. Uh, I will declare your name to my brothers in the congregation. I will praise you. So the, the atmosphere is completely changed to, to praise and to witness. And that's what we see with the resurrection. So, kono shihen no funiki wa mo sugoku kuwate totsuzen home tatairu koto sanbi no koto to mo akashi no koto ga detimas. So, shies no fukatsu o sono fukuin shou de mitra sono tori ni narimas. 
さあ今日は私たちはこの予言的の解釈でこの詩篇を見てきましたけれども、もうダビデが書かれたものとして、神殿で歌われたものとして、もう誰でもあすごく苦しい悲しいところから突然全てが変わって多くの喜びを言い出したことがあるかもしれません。ご自分のあ生活あ、人生の中の体験で、もうすごくが突然変わって苦しいことから大きな喜びにそれもありますねそして神様はいつも私たちを助けてくださる私たちが遅いと思うこともたまにありますでも神様は私たちを捨てることはないですいつも私たちを愛してくださるのです、so、look at this. We looked at the prophetic interpretation looking at Jesus But many of us have had experiences, you know, where、uh, something is very, very difficult and, and we're in pain and we're sad and we're hurting, and then something changes and our sadness can become new joy. And there's something to give thanksgiving for, and we testify about the Lord's grace in saving us. And it represents that in our own lives, in the faithfulness of God, that even though sometimes we feel like, God, you're getting really late, you know, haven't you fixed this yet? <laughs> Come help me.、Uh, well, sometimes we feel that way, but God's timing is perfect. So He will be there at the right time, and He, he won't toss us aside or forget about us or give up on us, but He always loves us and He always cares for us. Let's pray. And this time in Japanese. イエス・キリストの父なる神様、私たちはあなたの皆を褒めてたえます。あなたの御業を、特にシエスの十字架上の御業を感謝します。そして、復活のことも心から感謝します。私たちに、イエスの復活は私たちの復活の約束となります。特におられる方々、今聞いておられる方々の間に、苦しんで苦しんでいる人もいるでしょう。どうか恵みを注いで、憐れんでください。助けてください。その苦痛から解放して、新しい喜び、新しい部屋のお与えください。特に、今頃は新型のコロナのことがあって流行っています。辛いことです。多くの人に、それに直接の経験のない人でもそれを恐れていることで、その生活が崩れてしまうことがあるでしょう。経済的な影響もすごいです。助けてください。その人々に、あなたの現在を与え、その人たちはあなたの精霊の導きによって心を開いてシエスとの出会いができますようにシエスと共に歩むことができるように助けて導きください助けてくださいそしてそのこの教会にも恵みを注いで私たちはあなたの皆を褒めてたいあなたと共に歩むものとしてくださいますように大きな喜びの中あなたのこと、見業を証しができますように、素晴らしい証しを。シエスの尊い皆によって感謝し、お祈りいたします。アーメン。